Hello, my name is Yaya, I'm Technical Director, ATDI, South Pacific PTY, Sydney. Uh, this is another uh, tutorial um, focusing on the RRL plugin. The topic for today is um, spectrum occupancy analysis or spectrum analysis um, based on geographical boundary and um, a specific frequency range. So you're going to you're going to learn today how to run a query into the, into the spectrum and uh, the RL spectrum and establish uh, what the spectrum usage look like. So this is the RL plugin running now and if we have point to point mode and land, land mobile mode. If you want to do spectrum analysis, you must be in the land mobile mode regardless if you're doing microwave or doing uh, land mobile radio or something else. Okay, it could be even mobile. Um, 4G, 5G. So you must be in the land mobile mode to, to be able to do proper spectrum occupancy analysis. So because I'm only interested in the transmission uh, devices, I'm going to limit this uh, filter or search to the TX type devices. Then the frequency range. The frequency range you can define it manually here. Um, you can change the unit by pressing the key M, M for megahertz, K kilohertz, or G gigahertz or H hertz. Okay, so you can change the unit. Um, you can be specific, you can define the value yourself or you can just use the help of the drop down. So the segment I'm going to work with is the 400 uh, YT and I'm going to also specify the transmission frequencies only because my worry is the duplex. I don't want to capture the duplex in the, in the, the duplex gap in the analysis. So I'm going to start from from 467 four, all the way to 4699. So that's the frequency range of interest. Now go to the boundary. So in the boundary, choose the radius, put the site ID and hit resolve. So this is, this is the coordinate of that site ID and I'm going to limit my search to 100 kilometer. Hit update to have a visualization of your uh, site location. Okay, so you can choose different uh, 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 image uh, providers if you want. So obviously this is based in Sydney here, around Hurstville. Okay, so it has to be by radius. You can do the rest, but I prefer to use by radius. And then you specify the radius here and you run the query. So this is going to establish an uh, uh, online query uh, with our database and it's going to extract for you all the list of devices um, that are within 100 kilometer of that site and in the frequency range of interest. So you can see here in the bottom, uh, you've got total number of devices at 365. And um, now this is ready for spectrum analysis or spectrum occupancy analysis. Now to analyze the spectrum, you just need to go to the analysis button here and do the spectrum usage. So the tool is extracting from from the table, from that record, um, from the, from these records, all the unique um, licensee or operators um, that are uh, found in that list. So we've got here the Department of, um, let's go with the New South Wales um, government here. So you see they have 12.5 uh, spectrum, the police, uh, they have 12.5 uh, uh, kilohertz channels, uh, Opera House, 12.5, uh, TAFE, all right, so they got also 12.5. So um, the, you can select all of them, and you can see there's only 12.5 12, 12 in, in that um, spectrum. Um, but if there is any 25 kilohertz, it will also show up, or 6.125, they would show up. So select all to, to analyze all the licensee and plot, and here you go. This is the um, uh, spectrum occupancy uh, report or graph. And um, let me explain it. So the, the, the Y axis here is the distance, okay? Distance from the point of interest that we specified. So obviously these spikes here are roughly 80, 80 kilometers away. So, so these spikes uh, are, uh, are uh, devices registered on these frequencies. So you can see if you hover the the mouse, you can read the frequency, so 467.89 roughly. 
and that frequency is used about 80 kilometers away from my interest. Now these the, these uh, lower ones are, are closer closer to the site of um, interest. And you can see here the color in encoding, so you can see um, which licensee this color corresponds to. And you can hold down the left click and and drag like this. Should be able to zoom in yet. Yeah. You have to do it from right to left. So from right to left, and then you can um, move the cursor here. All right, so you can have a closer view of the center frequencies used, and you can see the bandwidth in in um, in the parentheses, and um, you can see how far it is and what um, licensee. So if you if you click if you left to click on on this circle here, it will reset the graph. So this is telling you, for example, you've got some free frequencies here in the uh, in that range here, and perhaps here you've got some free frequencies and and here as well so um that's pretty much um how you can do the analysis uh, for the spectrum utilization so this is this is again this is the distance versus uh, the frequency versus the spectrum and this these frequencies here are the central frequencies of these individual um, registrations or, or channels um, that are assigned if you plot again the software will generate the new random colors. So if you're not satisfied with the with the contrast of the of the colors um, um, selected, you can run it run it one more time. Okay, you can run it as much as you want until you get some sort of unique uh, coloring that help you distinguish uh, the the licensee. Um, you could also do this um, based on 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 the map, for example. So you can do it based on the map. So if you want to choose a different location or if you want to use different spectrum, you can just uh, switch to the, to the map and then double click on the, on the image on the map and then it will get you um, uh, uh, the, new the new location updated and then you can see that the range of 100 kilometers and the coordinates should be also automatically updated. So you can run a query this way and then it will list for you uh, these transmitters. Now if you wish to see where the transmitters are, uh, you can just go to map and then draw the network so you can see um, uh, where they are or how they are distributed so um, yes again so if you want to analyze the spectrum you would go to the spectrum usage analysis and then you will get all the list of the um, of the transmitters so this is a slightly different list uh, as you can see because I moved the map I moved the, 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 the reference point so you can see a spectrum here is um, um, equally utilized in a way. Uh, you can still see some gaps a little bit here. Okay, that's it pretty much. Uh, if you have any questions, please do uh, leave a comment or just send us an email. And uh, we, we should be able to help you. Thank you.